Recently, I had a friend who knows nothing about Pokemon tell me that he wanted to attempt Nuzlocke. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So I offered to help and we created the first ever Coach Lock, a Nuzlocke made easier. Well, I guess it depends on where we're starting from. Has Fires ever played this game? When was the last time you played this game? I started a Nuzlocke two years ago, didn't finish it. And trust me, <laughs> it only gets worse. Am I correct in guessing like childhood? Yeah, Game Boy Color. I, um, when I was a kid, I got this for my birthday. I think it was like my ninth birthday or something. Yeah, that's what we're working with. So now let's see if we can turn him into a Nuzlocking legend. You want to get into Pokemon and you want to start it out here. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Did you give me a randomized ROM or did I load the wrong one? Wow, this has the same file name as the one you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my second piece of advice is pick the correct goddamn game. So let's look at these normal, ordinary starter Pokemon. Cyndaquil. For sure. I guess we're calling it Dexter. <laughs> Dexter? Sorry to keep pausing the video, but I just wanted to let you know that in every single Pokemon challenge run I do, I name all wild Pokemon after recent subscribers. So, hey, maybe even you can experience Death's Cold Embrace next run. <clears throat> Back to the Coach Lock, where I give out really good advice and we talk about very important things. I've never had a McGr uh, McGriddle. I don't think we have them over here. It's like a sausage, egg, and cheese like biscuit, but imagine if the biscuit was a pancake injected with syrup. Does that sound American? It sounds incredibly American. Uh, you have one rival battle ahead of you, which again, run hasn't started yet, so. Mm -hmm. uh, he just got assaulted, robbed, and held at gunpoint, so. Oh, that's a shame. It's all good, it's all good, easy. Pidgey's not bad, Hoot Hoot's not bad. I think Centret might is okay, but I think Rattata okay. might be the best you can get here. Well, we're about to find out. Speaking of... What scares me is that we didn't heal after that last battle. Oh, you're right. We didn't do that. And I would call that pretty bad. It's it's okay. Because watch it. It goes in the second ball. It goes in this one. Oh, my God. It's just because the last ball is the one that matters, right? This is the only one that matters. So yeah, it's going to stay in this say, ball. Yeah. yeah, that's what they say. Right? One, two, three, and it's cool. I'll be honest, Hope Train left the station. I had no faith. Uh, what is his ability? Run away. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. That sounds like the opposite of guts. I'm gonna be real, Jacob. So uh, <laughs> you could have avoided this trainer if you went around it. It's, oh. Yeah, a lot of trainers are just fodder and I kind of view them as like chances for you to fuck up. So I always try to avoid every trainer possible, especially if you're like candy pilled. Virus, I got a test for you. So there's a trainer here. Would you say that this is optional? Let me think about this. They don't seem to have any kind of peripheral vision. I'm gonna say. Wait, wait, wait. First, first, will you just talk to her? I see. <laughs> That just wasn't a that that just wasn't a threat at all. I just overthanked the whole situation for nothing. It was a trial, though. You're thinking correctly. So, okay, one thing to be careful of right here, just so you know, you can only go up to plus six of any stat with setup moves. Okay. He's plus six defense right now. You can tackle him, and you're like, oh, it won't do much damage. But if you crit, critical hits always go through buffs. Oh, really? I did not know that. If your opponent sets up on you, you kind of want to fish for crits. Like, that can, that can be your out sometimes. Oh, wait, wait, Adamant Pidgey. Ooh, that, ooh, that's that good. good. Yeah, so that means... So what natures mean, right? Yeah, it's, is, like, it's like an attack, like a stat boost and a stat debuff, But do you know right? how much? No, I do not know how, by how much. It's pretty significant. It's uh, this Pidgey's attack is 10% stronger. Oh, because of that's that. good. It's an Ekans. Yeah. Did you know? Did, did I know what? That, uh, do you know Ekans backwards is... Uh, Ekans. All right, soft fanboy is going into the box. All right. <laughs> I need you there to change go. your computer clock to 8 p.m. Whoa, look at that, it's 8 p.m. The only encounters in here are Rattata and Ghastly. Ghastly spawns only at night. Oh, so now we have a chance to roll into Rattata. Yes, but we have duplicates claws, so it doesn't matter anyways. But yeah, now you get Ghastly, which is a really good mon. I forget what can hit Ghost. Everything that's not normal fighting. All right, I'm gonna mute now. Oh yeah, to make this fair, I have to stay muted during every trainer battle. Gotcha, okay. Oh my God, that's uh, <laughs> that's terrifying. I didn't even hear him say anything. This is gonna be fine. The chances are he probably just has bell sprouts. 
He's probably, I, I feel like since he's the elder, he's going to be the one with the victory bell, right? He's on edge. You can tell he's nervous and he's fighting the Bellsprout shitter champion. I think hypnosis is the only move that's scary here. Uh, yeah, of course. You, you see, this is what I was scared of. Uh, okay. For that, we use one of these. No, we, no items are banned. Oh, are they banned? Yes. Oh dear, uh, that, that's, 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 it's... Okay, I had to unmute for that one. I didn't think I had to. I completely forgot, I got nervous. <laughs> but it's fine, look, he, he's dead. I'm sure it would have been fine. I would have switched to Pidgey and it would have been okay. <laughs> we did it, completely legitimately with no oh, illegal dude. moves. The Nuzlocke Council is not going to like that. I knew that this Hoot Hoot was going to open with Hypnosis, and I was like, oh, let's see how he handles how's he, this. How is he going to get around this? <laughs> it's just like, I, I put you in the ring, and it's like, let's see how he goes in this fight, and then he pulls out a gun. It's flying type gym, right? I will say, you you can skip the trainers and only fight the gym leader, and that is uh, one Pidgey at level 9 and a Pidgeotto at 13. Okay, so you, you think I should open with Ghastly and then go, like, maybe go to Cyndaquil after that? You can just spam Hypnosis until it hits, mm -hmm. and then uh, send in Cyndaquil or something like that. Going into these runs, having like a sack Pokemon in mind, if you need a safe switch in, you probably throw in Ekans, let it die, and then switch something in. Okay, so that was, that I'll bet that in mind. I don't think you'll need it in this run, but I want you to always realize I have an out. I'm going to mute, I think. You got it. You have a strategy. Uh, what's your strategy again? Uh, <laughs> my strategy is to spam hypnosis until it hits and then switch to uh, Pidgey when they're uh, switch to Cyndaquil when they're asleep and then hit them. All right. I'm going to mute all yours, buddy. <sighs> Here we go. First gym leader. Chat, I think he's fine. It's going to it's going to be it's going to be a kill. as a reminder. Uh, you can't use. Items. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay, so we can't see the bottom screen and I like that. Oh, my God. First hit hypnosis. We put it asleep. See, frame one, then we switch to our Cyndaquil and then we kill this Pidgey in its sleep. Honestly, the most peaceful way to go. I just didn't expect him to hit the hypnosis first. So I thought we'd get like one switch in. Don't, don't overthink it. Okay, okay. I was like, just spam the fire move. I think I put a lot of stress on him because really this is a pretty simple gym. It's not something to be scared of. I already forgot what I was supposed to do. <laughs> oh, no. If he's spamming tackle, he should switch into Ghastly and then just spam Hypnosis again. Quick attack's good, right? It like it will outspeed the Pidgeotto. He's already outspeeding it. Just Ember, you might burn it. What are our options here? Maybe it was to switch back to Panic and use yeah. Hypnosis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's what I should have done. So yeah. that I could have put uh, I could put Pidgeot. Wait. Can it? Oh, he told me this. Why am I not remembering? He told me this. No, no, he's I right. can't remember if he's so there. I, I literally asked him this question. Trust, trust your instincts. I think he said that Goss can hit Ghastly, so that's not a good idea. No, it is a good idea. Uh, flames on? Because Dex is probably gonna die if we stay in. See, he's using. If we know he's using tackle. He's in crit range. His sparrow's in crit range here. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Pursue. <laughs> Maybe. That did so. That did nothing. All right. Oop, 3000. You're up, buddy. This might not be a good idea. Don't kill. Oh, it did nothing. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're A-OK. -okay. It did a third of his health. <laughs> that's. I'm sorry, but that's pretty significant. Why? I, I need to give him. He flinched. The flinch is huge, but he probably. Oh, it's living on one. Yeah, like he's using Roost. I don't think he knows what Roost does. Wow, that killed a lot. That that didn't seem fair. I don't like that. Why can't I do that? What these insane flinches? Oh my god. Oh my god. That it was nice <gasps> meeting you, Faulkner. So how did I do? You got so lucky. <laughs> Thank you for the egg. Uh, talk to that fisherman to the uh, left. Oh, old rod? Yeah. So this opens up a lot of encounters for us, especially water type Pokemon. Okay, so. Choose a word or phrase. Uh, we're going to say Wait. oblivious. Wait, why is it not? 
Oh, I'm, oh, it's, oh, it's the... Wait, what? No, this is a tricky part of the run. I understand. <laughs> Shut up. Yo, Whooper! Landed a Pokemon. What could it be? It's a Magikarp. There you go. I mean, phenomenal encounter. You know, like, people laugh, but it's, yeah. this is probably one of the best encounters you can... No, I'm going to say this is the best encounter you can get in the entire game. Oh, Geodude. Yeah, nice. there you go. Geodude. Rope Female tank. Geodude. That's good. Why is it good? Whitney's mill tank uses attract. Oh. Uh. And it's just really obnoxious. Like, it's pretty much just like a paralysis that only affects the opposite gender because love does not win in Pokemon. I see. That's fucked up. If the female mill tank is up against a female Geodude, they just can't use attract because lesbians don't exist. Can't believe Pokemon erased lesbians. This is the Whooper egg, right? No, it's a Togepi. Oh, it's Togepi. We did have it in our part. Oh, Oops. Well, I didn't name the Togepi. There's a correct option here. Impish. And hustle. Boosts the tech stat, but lowers accuracy. And it's Impish. This Togepi is a disgrace and should be thrown away. Yeah, it's not yeah, on great. A, yeah, the Impish. Minus special attack, Togekiss, no Serene Grace. It's, it's a pretty bad Togepi. Like... I would even go so far to say the worst possible Togepi you could have gotten. Well, it's time to get born. Whooper! What's up, Tolion? Its ability is damp. Bro. Listen, it's very situational. In the, in the off chance a Pokemon tries to use explosion on me or self-destruct. There is one trainer in this game whose team has, it's a mixture of six coughings and wheezings who all know self-destruct. <laughs> That's where the whooper comes into play. So is water sped F? Like a uh, special attack even, sorry? This physical physical special split was like like an, an, an event. It was like a phenomenon. It was like monkeys stood up in evolution. Like in Gen 3, all water type moves were special. All normal type moves were physical. Like no exceptions. Mm -hmm. Every type was predetermined if it was physical or special. And then in Gen 4, they changed it. So think about this. And like Gen 3 and earlier, you have moves mm -hmm. like Fire Punch. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and they sound like they definitely should be physical moves. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's all they're all elemental types. And realize That's some Pokemon really sucked without it. Like, yeah, chat, my chat's mentioning it. Think of like Hitmonchan. It's a boxer with a super high physical attack, but it learns Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and they're all special. And they're all moves. specials. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Okay, that yeah, makes sense. So a lot of Pokemon heavily benefited from the physical special split. Uh, here is the demon known as Hiker Anthony. Fight him if you dare. Also, that's a new encounter route right below you. Fight if you, him if you dare, you say. Okay. What's up, Anthony? Oh my god. He could lose a Pokemon here. Hiker Anthony is not fucking around. Uh, not by the Geodude. Oh my god. Well, actually, it's raining. Actually, no, no, no. I, I think Wooper clears here. But the Machop's scary, though. Machop. I don't know how to deal with that. Maybe a water gun. I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Uh, if he doesn't kill him here, it's kind of scary, if I can be honest. Uh, we are in the rain, though. That's a little bit scary. I like the switch. I like the switch here. We did say if we needed to sack someone, it's got to be soft femboy. Oh, good. Okay, sick. Pog. <laughs> I thought it was going to kill me. He did not know that poison resisted fighting. Dark doesn't work, but what about glare? I forget what glare does. It doesn't. It's not an attacking move, is it? <laughs> okay, so I need to teach him the type chart. I didn't think I would. But I guess you got to start somewhere. I wasn't afraid. All right, so. Hello. Let's talk. <laughs> What's up? Uh, first off, do you know about rain? Since we already have a Zubat, we have a guaranteed Slowpoke. But if we surf, we can get a Goldeen. Is that good, though? Is, is Goldeen a good Pokemon? What do you think is better? You know, fuck it. We'll fish. Uh, that was a test. Uh, you didn't pass. Wait, are you a flying type? Let's find out. Yeah, I guess I'm muted. I can't just tell him if Zubat's a flying type or not. The Motherfucker has wings, bro! Okay, cool. I thought Zubat was flying type, but I wasn't 100% sure. Strongly urges me not to interfere, but I'm going to. I don't think he'll have a death for a while. I think Miltank is really the scariest one. For this, my rock throw, it, it hits first time and kills it instantly, right? We now know that Zubat's a flying type, which makes these decisions a lot easier. We did it. We killed Team Rocket. Now what? Is it gym time? Gym two? Uh, yeah, we just go straight to the gym. All right, second gym time, baby. Let's do this. Okay, so you see the puzzle. Yeah, here. I see the puzzle. And you see how difficult it is. Uh-oh. 
Dude, this is one of those optional trainers I was telling you about. Do you want to know what Pokemon Bugsy has? You know what? No. Let, let's go in blind. Let's see what happens. Okay. Make it more um, part of the thrill, you know? All right. Well, the level cap 17 and fuck it. I'm just going to mute now. I'll be honest. Kind of based. All right. Who are the believers in chat? Oh, this is stressful for me. I want to see him win. Okay. He sends out Scyther and he's going to use... He's using U-turn. Oh my god, it's a level 17. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, he's using Leer into U-turn. That's... Wait, what? Oh, I guess he's not using U-turn because he's a fire type? Uh, if he... He could lose Quilava to crit here. Ooh, that burn is so valuable. No, 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 I think he's fine now. I think he's fine because of the burn. I should have switched. Oh, I'm scared. I'm tense. Is that dead? Yeah, yeah. All right. I, you know, he's got it. He's fine. He got saved by the burn. <laughs> it's okay. Cool. I guess we've won. GG. It's a handshake. Shake my hand. Oh, two gym badges. So I'm muting here. This one's all you from Passer B. All right. Let's see if I can use the knowledge that's been passed on to me to get through this croconog. When I was theorizing how this run would go, I really do think this is the first place you could actually lose a Pokemon. Oh, God. Croconog. Hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> we propped a uh, flinch. A fair few times so far. Oh my god, he's going for flinch against Croconaw. Okay, Hyper Fang. Flinch! You know you want to! Yes! Let's go! Never punished, huh? No, he's just built different. This Rattata is carrying the team somehow. And it's gonna flinch. Or it'll kill. I think it just kills. I think Hyper Fang killed. Ooh. It didn't... Fuck it. Quick attack. Good call. Honestly, good quick attack. And it crit. I gotta say... That was super solid all, ar all around. Thank you. <laughs> the runaway Rattata is doing work. Yeah, if you don't get it in one, I would just move on to the next one. Yay! And there you go. Huge. Level four Heracross. Do not touch it. I think Heracross is probably like the best Pokemon in Johto that you can catch. Well, it's a good thing we're about to catch it. Uh, if you s fish, you could get a Krabby. But I think we're good on water types. Uh, it's Abra, Drowsy, or Ditto is what you're looking for right here. Um, yeah, you can guarantee the Drowsy if you wanted to. Hi! Speaking of guaranteeing a Drowsy. But yeah, I mean, you got it anyways. There he is, right there. We did it. We guaranteed him. Uh, um, well, my D-pad didn't work. So, got a piece of advice. There's a man who wants to trade a Drowsy for a Machop. That would have been good. I don't want to talk about Drowsy right now. So it's modest nature. It's got swarm. Powers up <laughs> bug type moves in a pinch. Wow. Did we... Did we lose the coin flip again? This is the worst possible hair across we could have gotten. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to hear. I'm ready to wipe the floor with Whitney. One trainer right here, just so you know. Hello. I think the Kadabra is scary, but if he just keeps hitting it with headbutt, I think we're good. Uh, the confusion's fine. I was gonna say, confusion does nothing. Does nothing against my Slowpoke. I'd go for it. They'd have to get a higher damage roll and a crit to kill us. I go for it. I just say you keep going. I forget what resists psychic. Just hit it. Just hit it. I don't know if it hit my monster. Uh oh. <laughs> One switch could make everything snowball. I think you just hit it. Like if you miss, you're probably oh, not going to oh, die. It's gonna do a lot of damage. I need to switch out after this. Oh. Oh. Oh, it missed. Oh, that's the worst case scenario. My biggest fear is that he puts Heracross in. Psychic is like human fears. I remember a friend of mine taught me that a while ago. It's so it's like dark bug ghost. The answer is ghost. We have a ghost type. No, no, wait. Oh my God. Do not remember. Do not throw ghastly ghost. Well, fucking duh. Human fears, right? Do not throw in ghastly because ghastly is also a poison type and psychic is super effective. What does, what does uh, Heracross have? It doesn't have any bug type moves, but it resists. I'm guessing that. Yeah, yeah it, it will resist. Do not throw in Heracross. Do not throw in, like, the obvious answers are actually incredibly wrong here. I could send out Soft Femboy and then Bite. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the best move here. That's All the right. Play. All right. It might die. It might get one shot, actually. Maybe. Confusion might kill. I didn't realize it was super effective. Ooh. 
Oopsie! Shit, what do I do here then? So Gundam resists, right? I think. Oh no. Okay, actually, this isn't bad. As long as he didn't switch into Heracross. Yeah, yeah, that's good, okay. Switching into Heracross was the wrong play, but that's fine. There it is. I should have switched to Gundam. I just didn't think that fucking arrow No, ace. no, you shouldn't have. So I think your luck's gonna turn around if that Vulpix, though, has flash fire. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, it does have flash fire. Look at that. Look at that. How do I check the summary? Oh, this one. So, so I think we should feel good going forward. Chat, I'm muted. That is the only possible type, the only possible ability Vulpix could get. I just want him to feel a little good after that death, okay? The run doesn't end here. We don't even lose a Mon here. I'm gonna wager. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm wagering. <laughs> Maybe that shows I'm not as confident in that, but... Okay. Kingdom. That's such a sick name. Use Brick Break. Okay, so Brick Break's good here. I think it Oko's. 07s to Clefairy. Cle blah, blah, blah. 07s to Clefairy. I think it's possible. Okay, well, if he gets a crit here, he's a god, you know? The notorious, the infamous mill tank of legends. Stomp. Interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, attracting while it's already down is brutal. He might get a brick break in though. Okay, does, does that mean I just don't attack? Nice, lucky. I feel like I never hit those. Attract is such a volatile attract uh, status. Crit. It's what I said. Hayden didn't work. What's up? I want to say as soon as Miltank came out, I was like, he might get flinched, but as long as he crits, he's a god. Who cares? And it was a crit. <laughs> I forget. Hmm. What's hyping? Is he grass? Jacob? I don't know what typing Sudowoodo is. I know he's like a fake tree, right? But like... Yeah, no, you're right. Is it rock type? Yeah, it's rock type. I just want to make sure I don't die to this. We got him, boys, says Sudowoodo. <laughs> yeah, you got a double battle. Uh, So what, what should we do before this battle? I mean, we healed. That would have been the most important thing. Oh, bold move, metronome. Muddy water. I don't know what that does. Oh, that might... Yeah, I was gonna say, that might be bad on David. Really? <laughs> really? I'll be honest, I don't know how he could have played around that one. Awesome. That's great. Love that. Fucking kill the Clefable. I can't believe we lost Dio, dude. That sucks. All right. Hi, Jacob. What's <laughs> up? I got nothing to say to you about that one because <laughs> I'm... I don't think you can expect me to sit here and tell you to play around metronome. I, yeah, no, that metronome into a super effective move against the Geo dude. I think I could not a quad that. effective move, by the way. I don't like. I don't think I could have played around that. <laughs> Received the EV. Uh, will you do the thing where you close the ROM and then change your time to 8 p.m. again? Oh yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna get Espeon. Like they barely play this song anymore because it's so sped up. And like the later gens. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's a good thing. I but you hear, you hear like one bar of it. <laughs> I think Legends Arceus did Evolution's the best. Yeah, no, Legends Arceus where it like, uh, it just, just appears the on your menu. Just the best Pokemon game, IMO. So Magnemite is a steel type and we don't have any ground types. So I think Quilava's fine Quilava, for that. Yeah, I was going to say Quilava was my answer to Magnemite. Uh, for Zubat, I was going to say Geodude, but that's right. Oh, oh I, I didn't have the right screen on. Anyways, Quagsire. Quagsire time. Look at those guys. Legendaries are right there. They're just hanging out. I heard that rumor Suicune is here. Oh, yeah. I wonder why you would... I've heard rumors. Those rumors sure are Nobody crazy. Nobody in the general vicinity can confirm one way or another, though. Oh, no. Hi. We fight Mr. Man, Pasa B. Okay, so he's opening with Ghastly, and I got a mute. Oh, shoot. I don't think I, uh, I changed the order of my party, but I don't know if that matters. I think he's fine. As long as he doesn't try to punch the ghost, he'll be okay. I should have healed him, right? Well. Oh, it doesn't... Why did I, why did I try that? <laughs> why did I try that? Ah! Okay, Zubat... Don't, don't, don't stay in. If I don't know if Zubat has an, like a flying type move. Aerial Ace again. 
<laughs> but it could just kill Heracross. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, that's so much damage. Okay, but now you stay in and use Aerial Ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I outspeed it, though. So I'll kill it with this Aerial Ace at the very least. And then I switch. <laughs> we kind of wanted Heracross to punch through. I guess we have Gloom now. Uh-oh, wait, 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 wait. Croconaut has Ice Fang. Uh-oh, this Gloom's going to die. Okay, I've realized. I realized keeping Gundam in for the first two fights, for the first two Pokemon, was not smart. I'm, my brain is kicking in. I realized that was not the ideal play, but we're still living, okay? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't I don't think Ice Fang would kill. Yeah, okay. No, I think we're good. If he Ice Fangs next time, I think we still live. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No crit. Uh -oh. No crit and we're safe. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. We were even safe with crit. Holy out of desperation weak people sometimes do okay at fighting back i don't don't you fucking worry i fucking know it buddy this whole run i've been desperate and somehow i'm still here oh is it rat cake time look at this rat look at this rat chat look at this rat we got ourselves a rat the only pokemon in this entire gym is from the the ghastly line so oh, there's only going to be ghastly horns or gengar that's it correct I see. No, no. Umbreon is an insane Pokemon right here. I think it's possible that this Umbreon just solos. Yeah, Gengar's fast, but we resist it. And we're tanky. Oi, oh my god, Umbreon clears here. I'm confident a Haunter dies to a pursuit here. Curse. Oh, that's scary. I forget what Curse does. But I think it does something with your HP. Uh, so do we want to go for a little bit longer and then call it for a day? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I just realized my food's been here and I didn't realize we've been live for five hours already. No, we haven't. It's been two. Have we not? Has it been? Uh, will you do the thing where you close the ROM and then change your time to 8 p.m. again? <laughs> Dude, do you know what threw me off? I thought it was 10 p.m. because oh, we, you we changed, changed my clock. fucking my fucking computer uh, timer. We changed it so that we could get the Umbreon. Oh, yeah, we'll take Mill Tank. Okay. All right. Yeah, I I would probably just say put it to sleep and then just spam balls because this thing's just oh, going to keep healing fuck. anyways. <laughs> so I went to the bag, pressed X, and then pressed right, but I guess I just didn't press X hard enough. Dude. This is a game that requires you to put two actions per minute. Yay! Take two! Realize this could have been a dupes and we could have gotten a Magnemite. Does Fire have force trade Evos on? Yes, he does. Gengar, <laughs> we get Gengar at level 37, yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's 37. Right. Someone says, what if you just cheat to let Gengar evolve? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the words are going in one ear and coming straight out the other. You know other. what? No, I'm going to say that's a good idea. Okay, I will say you could look at his appearance and be like, that's probably a sailor. We shouldn't lead with the rock type. Yeah, it's too, too bad that I'm leading with the rock type. All right, have fun. Yeah, okay. I think that just summed it all up. They don't look like they have water Pokemon. It's gonna be fine. Oh, and they've only got one guy. Oh, well, I just... I just completely misjudged their character, I suppose. I'm gonna let you let you do what you do best. And that's the gym. Oh, it's this guy, isn't it? I need to stop the water. I remember this. Oof. Oh, that's scary. Apollo flinched. Awesome. We switch out here. I agree. But what do we switch out to? Better not be a flying type. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just don't use a rock move. Oh, they outspeed you. Cool. Thank God. Does he know? Never punish? He, we literally know that he had rock throw. What was he cooking? <laughs> Virus. What's up? We saw him use rock throw. Yeah. Or it was rock slide. We saw him use rock slide. Yeah, but there was a chance that he wouldn't use that the next turn and he didn't. So we, we, we won. Okay. But they're two hard-hitting Pokemon. Like, he can definitely... He can also fall for Water Absorb, I feel, if he throws out, like, Gyarados. Uh, we'll use a Confusion here. Is that is that Evasiveness, maybe? Oh, wait, he just Double Team Focus Punch? Wait, that's kind of a funny strat. 
Oh, okay. So you just use Rock Slide here. Oh, because it's a Psychic type. But I like that oh, the AI does double team. Crit. Ooh, crit. Ooh, and he missed two confusions in a row. I use Aerial Ace here because Aerial Ace can never miss. I think totally earns the play here. I think totally earns the play. Oh, no, the double double team. I didn't see that one coming. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's using Focus Punch. Just hit him. Just hit him. <laughs> All right. See you later, buddy. I'm out of there. I don't want to deal with whatever you've got throwing my way. Okay. That works, I guess. I, I didn't really expect. Well, he dodged two attacks with that dig. Because he honestly kind of impressive. I like the play. And it hit. Let's do that, but again. Oh, okay. Rock Slide doesn't. Hopefully, it doesn't do nearly as much damage here. It doesn't. All right. Sick. All right. Toleone is a beefy boy. I knew this was the right choice. Uh, if I'm primary, I'd probably focus punch here. Yeah, yeah. And if the dig misses, that's going to be scary. Oh, wait, he hits these. Plus two evasion and he hits these? I don't think he kills, though. I'm just going to hit you with a water bomb. No, I shouldn't. I should have, uh, I should have tug again. Oh, no. Plus three evasion primate. This dude can't be hit. This is awesome. Aerial Ace is a 100% accurate, cannot miss move. This is not going to do much damage. So we're, we're kind of chilling at the moment. Even if it crits me. Oh my god, none of my attacks are hitting. Yeah, because he's plus six evasion. Okay, at least he dug on... He's stalling out focus punch in the funniest ways possible. For the love of god, there's probably a way of getting rid of this... Uh, no, wait, no, it's evasiveness. It's on his behalf, so... There's no way of me changing that. Oh, oh well, there goes Quagsire. Shit! I didn't know what to listen to sometimes. I think he said something about Primate. Uh, Gyarados Intimidate? I said lead with it, for the record. I said lead with it and then swap out because Rock Slide would deal big damage to Gyarados. He is intimidated, though. Wait, Dragon Rage hit. Wait, hold up. Wait, that's actually huge. Does that kill? He heals, doesn't he? Fuck, dude. I should have switched to Gundam. Why did I not switch to Gundam? Why did I not switch to Gundam? Okay, so here's the thing. He has had some encounters die to some bullshit RNG, but he just experienced his first death that was entirely his fault. And now we're seeing the anger. That's just what happens in Nuzlocke. It's so much worse when it's your own fault. But in my see, in my head, I thought that was super effective, which is why I didn't switch to Gundam. Christ almighty, uh, that was, oh, I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. Yeah, I mean, all of these kill, right? Unless he uses a hyper potion, they're fucking missed because he's so evasive. Why are you? <laughs> all of them kill, yes! But, 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 she... Oh my god. Okay. I was like, yes, all of them kill. But let's not forget, he is plus six accurate, like evasion. Anything kills here. I think the Polyrath is smooth sailing from here. Just Aerial Ace, if you, like, he's not going to double team. You just have to kill this guy. The hard part's over. <sighs> okay, I had full faith as soon as he switched to Heracross, and I lost all of it when I saw a horn attack. Just kill it. Just kill it. Just let it be done. Let it end. Just kill it. No! Don't kill me, though. Don't kill me. Don't do <sighs> His first Pokemon in red health, baby. This is what it's all- No, attack! You're faster! <sighs> Gosh, fucking... Oh. Cool. God, how did that uh, feel? Awful, 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 terrible, bad! Welcome to Nuzlocke, baby! Like, you've had some losses to, like, bullshit RNG, and honestly, who cares? But you lost Quagsire to your own fault, and that hurts so much more. That, no, that hurt. That hurt uh, are you aware that no matter what the evasiveness of a Pokemon is or anything, uh, Aerial Ace is 100% accurate no matter what? I did not know that. Feels bad. Oh, it feels bad. You, here's the thing. You're going to remember that exact interaction for the rest of your life. All right, let's do this. Uh, it might even sandstorm first, though, is the thing. Does it sandstorm? No, it's Iron Tail. Uh, this should be fine. Uh, is that physical defense down? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, this is a little scary. I think it's dangerous to keep Nita Queen in here. Because I, I think I might be in crit range if 
they do that move again. Iron Tail, I think it was. Okay, water's good here. Water resists steel. A uh, really good switch. I think that was the best switch in he's had the entire game. And 07's the Steelix. Okay, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling, uh, yeah. No, I, I actually feel quite confident in that gym battle. How's that feel? That felt good. <laughs> I felt like I was in control the of that. The highs are high and the lows are low. I felt like I was in control of that battle. No, I think that switch to Lantern was phenomenal. Hmm. Think about it. Hmm. Think about it. Good call. We want Marie. That'd be the best case scenario. Flaffy. Even better. Nice dodge. Thanks, man. I'm learning. I'm learning. This path is uh, you don't fight Pokemon, but you lose $1,000. Dude, what the fuck? Pineco. I mean, it's a new encounter. Is this guy cool? Is he good? He looks like a pine cone. It's pretty decent. All right. Let's let's uh, let's go see if this Gyarados could be shiny. It could be. That would be exciting. All right. So I will say, don't run away from it. Oh, shit. It's not shiny. <laughs> Who would have oh, thought? Oh, what a shame. Who would have thought? Reroll. Holy shit, it's a shiny! Stay on the ball. What does he have? Okay, yeah, nothing to be scared of. Cool. Whoa, wow. Yeah, first ball. Oh, hi. It's Lance. What the hell? He just used Hyper Beam on a guy. Yeah, isn't that insane? That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's just part of the story. <laughs> that guy is dead. <laughs> so going back to my whole thing of like Johto's leveling doesn't make any sense. We just caught a level 30 Gyarados, one of the best Pokemon in the game. Mm -hmm. And now we're fighting immediately after. The plot point required by that previous thing we just did, we're all fighting level 17 and 18 Pokemon. And it's yeah, like... Yeah, it's kind of weird. Do you know what level Dragonair evolves into Dragonite? No. 55. He's... Oh, wow. He is just cheating. Yeah, Lance, that's a Game Shark Dragonite. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah, see, I think you have to fight one, one of, of these, these to do this. Yeah, I see. Um... You have to fight... This one? No. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks, man. I wasn't... I, I, I was just fucking trying my best. It's frozen. What? So am I leading with Boopal still? Yeah, I say just punch it. Before you do that... <sighs> okay. Did he level everyone up? No, he did not. Like, this doesn't seem like it's something I should be concerned about. That's the crazy thing. I, I can't believe he didn't level. <sighs> Heracross is probably the saving grace here. That doesn't, do, that doesn't do much to me. Just keep using strength. Oh, dude. I think it kills him one more strength maybe after this. No, definitely not. I don't know how much damage this is gonna do. I don't stay in here. I have to just weigh up all my options there. <laughs> I just thought he was he didn't have any hyper potions. Oh, he does. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're fine. He's getting really good at switching. He is switching, but I think he's doing it a little too recklessly. Like, there have been good switches, but there have also been bad switches. Because in longer fights, when they have like five or six trainers, like, all these switches are fine because there's three Pokemon at the enemy trainer. But when they have like five or six Pokemon and you switch too much, it really starts to like uh, reveal itself as an issue. You, you got, you had me worried briefly, Price. You had me worried for a split second. But I kept my cool, I kept my composure. I just weighed up my options. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so this is, I think, the most boring part of the game. You're going to have a death here because you're just going to stop paying attention and accidentally autopilot and die. That's just how this goes. In Golden Rod, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're going to Goldenrod. Did it freeze? I sure did. Did you save? I sure didn't. A few moments later. Okay, I just look at the screen. I see. Did it freeze? No, I didn't freeze. I'm looking at something. Okay. Uh, what are you looking at? Type chart. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, wait, are you fighting the admin? Yes. Whose team has. It's a mixture of six coughings and wheezings who all know self destruct. I, I will tell you one thing. Okay. okay, I will tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, when Pokemon are paralysis, their speed is lowered. Yeah. I'm gonna mute for a second. This thing's about to blow the fuck up. Um, I think I'm fine here. If I, I think, I think this is okay. 
Oh my god, he got so lucky. He does not know how lucky he just got. Oh my god, you were so lucky. Holy. This might not kill. Yep. Uh oh. All right, there you go. Oh, sevens. Yep, poison resists. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we kind of played that scenario out in our heads exactly how it happened. If only you had a ground type with an ability that makes it immune to poison uh, explosion. Shut up. No, actually, that guy's cooking. <laughs> That's tilting, but that chatter's cooking. Oh. I didn't know that. First of all, I didn't know it was an explosion team. Second of all, I didn't know Echo Zero would resist it. If I'd known all of that information, I would have been fine. That sucks, dude. I didn't know that was the explosion team. That would have been good information to have. Fuck me, dude. Hey, man. Hey. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Are we healed, by the way? We, we are, yeah, I believe so. Okay, I'm gonna mute, good luck. Let's see what he's learned. This looks like an optional side quest puzzle, right? Right. Uh, for some reason, it's the very much so required TM, or no, HM, Waterfall. What the fuck, really? Don't know why, but it is. What the fuck, why? Yeah, Kingdra is just scary. Uh, Because the only thing that's super effective against Kingdra is Dragon as of right now. So uh, uh, just in the grass? Yeah. 5% uh. chance. What's that? Oh, it's a legendary. <laughs> What's up? Oh, hey. I say throw a ball. Go for it. Go for the Inte. <laughs> I won't count it. I, I just say go for it. I heard that I heard the jingle played and immediately my anxiety spiked. Okay. Huge if caught. <laughs> it won't catch. Like there's no shot. There is a shot. Yeah. There's no shot. He was unlikely. Oh, okay. yeah, it's sh it's but it was a shot. And would you look at that? Skarmory. Beautiful. I want to switch off of... Yeah, you should do that. Let's open with Lantern against this Gyarados because that's quad effective. They're probably going to... Nothing is super effective here, so they might send in Hyper Beam, uh, which is going to be Kingdra. Okay. Uh, you don't really have an answer here. Uh, you can use a, an electric move and it's going to be neutral. I, I don't fucking know what to do. This is kind of <laughs> like... Kingdra is not a Mon that where there's a good answer right for it. i see my plan is to open with lantern take out gyarados just fucking kill kingdra with something uh don't know how like just find a way okay yeah and then save tentacruel for the dragonairs okay so i start with uh with lantern fight as long as i can when i feel like i need to pull out go to skarmory and then for the dragonairs i go to tentacruel uh mammal swine is kind of your backup for Dragonairs if something goes wrong. And then uh, Crobat and Gyarados, between the two of them, you should be able to okay. take out Kingdra somehow. Uh, yeah. And real quick. Were you about to say something just as I said, okay, let's do it? <laughs> All right, good luck, brother. Right. I believe in you. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We got this. I don't know how much damage this does realistically. Does it? doesn't kill, right? Surely Dude, not. Dude, it's quad effective. Oh, it's living. <laughs> oh, and it's and paralyzed. paralyzed. Okay. All right. We're chilling. All right. There we go. We, we got it done. He didn't acknowledge it, but it's fine. Oh, wow. I thought they were going to send out Kingdra. Whatever it's using here is probably Thunder Wave, though, which is obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah, which Lantern was perfect for. Thunder Wave is a little cringe. It's just Volt Absorb. Yeah, we probably should have stayed in a turn with Lantern and then switched out IMO, IMO, because now we're slower. This puts a huge hole in Tentacruel, but whatever. Nice. And we go through the paralysis again. That poor arm is feeling good. <laughs> All right. Slam paralysis doesn't matter. Oh, crit. Ooh. If Tentacruel's in danger. Oh, they got a crit. Okay, we switched to Mammoth Swine now. Well, there's probably kills, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now we switch to Mama Swine. All right. So now we're going to play a fun game called How the Fuck Do We Kill Kingdra? Uh, you could spam Earthquake here. That's a pretty good option. Just high damage move on a high damaging Pokemon. I don't know what this thing's type is, but I'm going to guess it's water and maybe ice. He thinks it's water ice? No, he knows this is a dragon type Pokemon. Yeah, let's switch to Skarmory. Just in case. I'm sure I'm probably fine with the Mama Swine, but I just don't know enough about Kingdra.
Okay, it doesn't resist that, but that's new. Wow! We literally got Skarmory just to be a tank if we needed it for dragon moves, and then to just die. Like, no, no, this Pokemon was just a sacrifice mon. Don't swap, don't swap, just let it die and get a free switch in. I guess we go Mamoswine Ice Shard. Dude, we just switched from Mamoswine. Oh no. All right. That was an awful switch. That was certifiably bad. Uh, it, we get hit by Dragon Pulse into Hydro Pump. Now we definitely die. Oh, shit, dude. I should have probably stayed in with the Mamoswine and attack. I just didn't expect it to fucking wipe my Skarmory like that. Yeah, that's fine. Switch back into Skarmory and let it die. But I'm going to be honest. I think Kingdra moves first here. Hey, if you're going to attack, use Ice Shard. At least damage it. I, I could, the, we could lose Mamoswine if I stay in. Oh shit, I should have just attacked with Mamoswine instead of switching. Switch to Skarmory. If you're going to switch to anything, switch to Skarmory, let it die. We got two Gyaradoses so far. We could. Bro. We just caught Skarmory. Why is he attached to it? <laughs> And Intimidate, but it's gonna special attack me, right? Oh, maybe not. That's crazy. That, all right, I resist that. That's, oh, still did a lot of damage. I think I outspeed it with Ice Fang here. Maybe, oh, oh don't. I'm scared of this. Oh, come on. Thank God. Neutral damage, baby. Cause it's only. Is it not? I thought it was Dragon type. It's Water Dragon. We were over this. I said the only smooth super effective against Kingdra is Dragon. Or is it like it's dual type? It's, I'm guessing it's the dual, dual type, type means that ice damage is neutral and not super effective. Fuck, damn it. Okay. So if I'm going to analyze my own plays here, I think I switched way too many times. I should have stayed in with Mamoswine and I should have attacked when I could have. We are switching way too much here. Bro, just let something die. I think I switched to pace. We lose. We lose Skarmory. Switch to Crobat, and maybe we can make something happen here. It's an eh. Honestly, I would go Mammoth Swine and try to Icy Wind it once, just to lower its speed. So Crobat's fast as fuck. We know it will move first. It's going to kill Skarmory here. So we get a clean switch in. 07s to Skarmory. Yeah, I guess Tentacruel's a safe switch here. If we lose him, that's fine. We switch... To Crobat. I think Crobat moves first. Wing attack? Bro, at least it's using smoke screen here. Hydro pump. I definitely take one of these. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, this Pokemon's rough. I should have stayed in with the Mammoth Swine. Really? Honestly, go for the Confused Red Gambit here. Who cares? Just just do it. Just use smoke screen or something. It missed. No, dude. No, dude. Oh, this is... Oh, no, dude. All right. Gyarados. We've got another one of you. It's not shiny, but... I'll be honest. I think that's a white. Oh, he moves first! No! Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, no, dude! Ah! <gasps> living, living on one! Paralysis, Paralysis here is an out. Please! He needs paralysis. You're kidding, right? Yeah, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill my lantern. Oh, shit. Oh, Tentacruel's paralyzed. Oh, that hurts. What happened? Wait, does Earthquake hit me? I've never, I'm not familiar with it. What? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but that one's way out of pocket for me. Ah, it's gonna kill me. I think we won't. I think, I think this is the run. Oh, damn it. 07, guys. We had a good run. 
But I couldn't help him beat the game. Yeah. Dragon Ball, we're dead. Yeah, that's it, we've wiped. Look, I know that we didn't win, but you gotta admit, for someone who knew nothing about Pokemon just 50 minutes ago, Virus made some insane plays. And if you wanna see more of him, go check out his channel, cause he's about to hit 100,000 subs, and I think you should help make that happen. <laughs> uh, you know, so he at least gets something out of this video.